Not all exercises are suitable for everyone, and this or any other exercise program may result in injury. To reduce the risk of injury in your case, consult your doctor before beginning this exercise program. The instructions and advice presented are in no way intended as a substitute for medical counseling. Finally, for the first time, I'm excited to bring you some of my most popular original workout programs on DVD and digital download. These are the ones people keep asking for year after year after year. To this day, I still receive word from those of you who are holding out with your VCR and VHS tapes. Some of you have even worn out your tapes completely, right? I know that those of you who continue to exercise have experienced its benefits. You know, we know definitively now that exercise is a key component to successful aging. While few things please me more than continuing to hear the positive feedback from those of you who've kept up your workouts, I can't help but be astonished by how many of you are still discovering the workout for the first time. I can honestly say I could never, ever, ever have imagined that we were on the verge of a fitness revolution back then that continues to resonate today. See, gyms are not necessarily for everyone for all kinds of reasons. Cost, maybe you feel self-conscious, it's more comfortable at home, you have more time, I don't know, there's all kinds of reasons. Besides, back when I put out the very first home video workout, I kid you not, most gyms were primarily for men. One of the reasons these workouts became so popular, besides the fact that they really work, was the concept of getting a quality workout on your own terms in the privacy and comfort of your own home. That was totally new back then. See, at home, you have the opportunity to proceed at your own pace, whether you gradually build strength and endurance or whether you push yourself to feel the burn. A few years ago, I started my prime time workout series, which was originally designed for seniors like me, until I heard from people of all ages that they were doing it, loving it, and, and really seeing results. So if you haven't already, I hope you try those too, Jane Fonda's prime time workouts. If you've been doing the Jane Fonda workouts for a long time, or are just discovering them for the first time, please visit my website, janefonda.com. Let me know what you think. I love getting feedback from you, and I'm glad you're here. Now, are you ready? apart. Now you should have your good workout shoes on now. Weight is slightly forward. This bone, the pubic bone, is curled up toward your navel. Your stomach is pulled in. Pull up tall out of the waist. Your neck is long. Your head is lifted. Your shoulders are pressed back and down. See how that opens and lifts your chest? Now keeping that posture, let's warm up. And one. And back. Two to the left. And forward, now reverse it to the left, don't hunch your shoulders, and back to the right, and down. Now shoulders. 
shoulders up and back. Two and back. Really work the muscle between the shoulder blades. Feel it working. Up and back. Up and back. Pull up tall in the head. Now open the arms to the side. Hands on the shoulders. Double time. Up. All of the waist, again, back, two, three, four. Really work that muscle in the upper back. Seven, eight, now reach up and left, right and left. Reach all the way from the waist, not just from the shoulders. Feel it stretch. Six, reach. Last time, and now reach over to the right. Hips are forward, pull up long in the waist. Don't sink into the waist. Now to the left, stretch it up long and tall. Hips are forward, shoulder is back. And now open your arms, place your fingers, and pull over, pulling in the abdominals, stretching out long from the crown of your head. Knees are soft. And let your arms drop way over your head. Now pull down to the right, stretching your left shoulder over to the right leg. The knee is a little bit bent. Stretch it down. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Don't grip with the front of the thigh. And to the right again. Stretch it down. Reach. Feel it lengthening in the back of the leg. And to the left. One, two, three, four. Press it down. Can you feel it? Woo! And to the center. Press it down. Relax the head and neck. Hands on the lower legs. Press it down. Now hips right. Center and walk the hands way out in front of you. For the toe raises. Up. Be sure up, your abdominals are up, pulled in. Up. Work through the whole foot, coming up as high as you can on the toes. Hold it there. Now lower your heels down. Move your feet together a little bit more. And tend and stretch right and left. Press your right heel down and left heel. Press your right heel down and left heel. Press and left. Right and left. Press it down. Try to touch your heel to the floor, working up high on the toes. Press both heels down and bend your knees. Walk your hands back, feet about five, six inches apart. Hang down over your legs and slowly pulling up to the center of your body. Pull in the abdominals and roll up one vertebra at a time. Very good. Now we'll go on to waist. Feet are wide apart, slightly turned out. Ready and a one.
You've worked up a good sweat by now. Why don't you get yourself a big glass of water and drink it slowly during the rest of the class? You know, muscles don't work as well when they're dehydrated. Your shoes should be off now so you can get full range of motion in your feet. Open your legs in a stride position. Don't open them too wide, however. You don't want to overstretch the tendons in the inner thighs. Sit up tall, right on top of your hip bones. You may want to put a small folded towel underneath your hips to help straighten you out. Press your small toe into the floor, hands right inside the thighs to keep your legs from rolling in. Ready and press, press. This is not an arch. It's a lengthening and straightening of the spine. And now right and left with the rib cage. Feel the stretching in the inner thighs. Now pull it to the right. Two, three, four. Feel the stretch up the left side of the body. Now hold it and stretch even more. Press the left hip into the floor. Chest is lifted, stomach in. Turn it now. Press it down over the leg. Chest is reaching out towards the foot. Spine is straightening and lengthening. And now round down. Let the weight of your head carry you over that leg. Pull the stomach in. And now walk center. And come up. Pull it to the left. Four, one, two, three. Stomach in. Chest is lifted. Reach out of the waist. And now hold it and stretch. Right hip is pressed into the floor. Toes are pointed. Reach it up. Now turn and face the leg, stretch it out, 
Feel the spine lengthening and straightening. And round it down now. Let the weight of your head carry you over. Stretch it out. Now flex your feet and come center. And straight out. Feet are flexed. Don't arch your back. It's a lengthening and straightening of the spine. And now come up. Bring your legs together. Now you can bend your knees a little bit the way Marion Black is doing. Or if you're very flexible like Peggy Lipton is, you can straighten your knees and round down over your legs. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Relax your neck and head. And now roll up. Bend your knees. And come over onto your back. We're going to go on with the abdominal exercises. Roll back. Knees are bent. Toes are slightly turned in. Hands are across the chest. The pubic bone is curled up to the navel. Ready and lift. chest, curl it up. The last time, chin is tucked under. Now back and one, two, elbows back, chin is down, and exhale, exhale. Again, lift, lift. Your hands and arms are not doing the lifting. They're just gently holding your head. All the work is being done by the muscle between your pubic bone and your navel. Lift, lift. One more set, lift. You can do it. Blow it out, hang in there, six, seven, eight. Now crunches up, wrap your elbows around your ears, knees are right over your hips. You can bend your knees the way Leslie Mulgrave is doing or straighten them out a little bit more the way Jackie Gross is doing. But do the lifting from the lower abdominals. Now right and left, twist it right and left. You're not just moving your elbows, you're pressing your upper body and shoulders over to the knees. Knees are over the hips. Woo! <laughs> One more set. Come on, you can do it. Think how strong your stomach is going to be. And your back as a result. And lift. Woo! Can you feel it? Yes. I can't hear you. Can you yes. feel it? Woo! Now tuck your knees to your chest. See, so you did it. You got through it. Very good. Take a big breath. Exhale. Straighten out your left leg and press your right knee over to the left side. Right arm is straight out to the side, shoulder height. Feel the spine decompressing. And bring it back. And other side. Press the left knee over to the right side. The left arm is straight out, shoulder height. Press the knee down to the right and the left shoulder down to the floor. And roll back onto your backs. And we'll come up onto our left sides. It'll be your right side. Up on your elbow and we'll go on to leg work. Extend your legs, point your toes, hand in front. Ready and lift, lift, lift. Resist as you lift, you're working the whole outer thigh now. Six, and up, and up again. Now watch me, I'm not sitting back like this. I'm pressed forward, the weight is on the front hand, the top hip is forward. Don't sink into the shoulder, Pull up tall. Shoulder. One more. Eight. Lift it now and hold it. Bend the bottom leg. Flex the top foot. And press. 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 Feel like there's a big rubber ball underneath that foot. And resist. Resist. Make it work. And press. 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 Can you feel it? Yeah. Woo! Can you feel it? Extend the front foot, the one facing the television set. Flex your foot. It should be at a right angle Ready to your body. And up, two, three, and down. The hand is in front. The weight is in the front. Now up to tempo and from a lifted position. All the weight is on that front buttock. The back hip is off the floor. Back is rounded. Stomach is in. Lift and lift. You're working this inner thigh muscle here. Now put your fingers on it. Feel it working. Seven. Rover's Revenge. Tuck 
your pubic bone up and lift. One, two. Now don't keep looking at the television set. You'll distort your neck. Relax your head and neck and isolate that thigh. Don't use your whole body. Just the knee. Lift up, down, up, down. Keep the pelvis tilted up. Don't let your back arch. Three, pull your stomach in. Straight back with the leg, keep the knee bent, press your chest further towards the floor. You can get on your elbows if you want. Up, down, up, down. Keep your pubic bone tucked up, don't let your back arch. Another set, and breathe. Woo! This is a great exercise for the back of the thigh. And drop your knee down four inches apart with your knees. Sit back on your heels, walk your fingers way out, and look back towards your knees. Press your hips back towards your heels. Feel the stretch. And come up. And cross that leg that you've been working in front. And round down over the opposite knee from the leg that's in front. Feel the stretch of the right hip, the hip of the leg that's in front. And come center. Round down to the center. Oh, I can really feel that in both hips now. Oh, that's a good stretch. Pull in your stomach and roll up. On to the other side. Lie down. Toes are pointed, legs are extended. Ready and lift. Lift. And extend that leg as you lift. Reach it out. Reach. Don't forget, you shouldn't be back here. Your hips are pressed forward. You're pulling up long out of the waist. Lift. Don't sink into the shoulder. Lift. And lengthen that leg as you lift it. Really Concentrate. It's intense now. Can you feel it? Eight. Now hold it up there. Flex that foot. Bend the bottom leg. Ready and press. 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 Pull up tall. Press. Press. Again, remind yourself of that ball. You're pressing down against a big rubber ball. Press. 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 Can you feel it? Shifts forward, open that leg closest to the television set, flex your foot, hand in front, and one. Try to get your leg as much as you can at a right angle to your body. Put your hand on the inner thigh, feel that muscle working. And now double time. Isolate the leg, don't use the whole body like this. It's a small movement, really working that leg. Great. Again, lift, lift, can you feel it? Yes. Oh yeah. If you want more resistance, you can press against your leg and hold it. Point the toe. Reach it out, and now press it into your chest. Yes, and come over onto your hands and knees. Tuck your pubic bone up and lift. One, two, don't let your back arch now. Relax your head and neck. Isolate that leg. Again, one, two, three, right from the hip. Make it work, six, seven, eight again. You're working your outer thigh now. Lift, lift. Five, six, pull at your stomach. Eight, and now up, down. Your chest comes closer to the floor. You can come down on your elbows if you like. Seven, eight, again. Tuck that pubic bone up towards your navel. Keep your knee bent. Six, seven, eight, again. Up, down, up, down. Pull in your stomachs. Round that pelvis up. Seven, and eight. Now lower your knee. Sit back on your heels, walk your fingers way out in front of you. Look back towards your knees. Stretch your fingers in one direction and your hips in the other. And come up. Now put the leg you've been working in front. And round down over the opposite knee from the leg that's in front. Feel the stretch of that left hip. And come center. Relax into it. Woo! And roll up, pulling in your stomachs. And we're coming into the home stretch. 
Going on to buttock tucks. Roll back, knees are parallel, toes turned in, put your palms down just under your lower back, curl your pubic bone up to your navel, ready and lift, 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 curl it up now, it's a small movement, work deep, very intense, eight, another set, think of a scorpion curling up its tail. shoes on now so you don't have to stop before we start with the aerobics. Weight is slightly forward, pull up tall in the waist. This bone, the pubic bone, is curled up towards your navel. Shoulders are back and down, chest is lifted, neck is long, ready and head right and back to the left and down. Reverse it to the left, don't punch up. Shoulder shrugs, up and back, two and back, reach it up and back. Warm up the shoulders now. Use that muscle between the shoulder blades to strengthen the upper back. And now arms open on the shoulders, double time. Two, pull up tall, pull in your stomach, up and back, up and back. 
attention is on lengthening the back of the legs to the right again, stretch it down. Very little presses, lengthening that leg up the back. And to the left, last time, press it down. Relax your neck and head. Six, seven, eight, now to the center. Stretch it down. You can have your hands on the floor or your lower legs. Relax your head and neck. And lunge right, left, right, left. Five, stomach again. Seven, eight, now straight legs. Out of the hips, weight is forward. Five, six, seven, eight, again. Lunge it out, lunge it out. Weight is forward, stomach in. Six, seven, last time, straight legs. exercises. Stand with your legs apart, toes turned out a little bit, and to the right. Two, three, four, pull it down. Reach it out. Down, up, down, up. Be careful not to make that left shoulder come around like this. It'll put a strain on your lower back. It's straight to the side, and you can bend your knees the way Ooh. Baguette is doing it. That makes your lower back feel better. Pull up out of the waist. Chest is lifted. Weight is forward. Breathe. Don't move. Two, three, four. Don't just stay down there and move your arms. Down, up, down, up. 
Press your back. Two.
ready to jog in place and work those pecs.
straight, right stretch. Hips left and right, left and right. Pull in your abdominals, relax your neck and head. Feel the stretch inside of the upper thigh. This is the last set. And now bend and reach. Bend and reach. Stretch. Stretch. Walk the feet a little closer together. Walk the hands out. And tend the stretch to the right. forward, drop the hips. If this causes any discomfort, don't come down as low. Stay up higher. Now lower the heels, bend the knees, hang down over the legs. Let your head and neck relax and slowly roll up. Pull in the stomach. Pull in the stomachs. Now we're going to go on to floor work. Let's get our mats. are you're sweating as much as we are why don't you get yourself a big glass of water and drink it slowly during the rest of the class you know muscles don't work as well when they're dehydrated you should have your shoes off now so you can get full range of motion in your feet open your legs in a stride position not too wide though you don't want to overstretch the tendons in the inner thighs sit up tall right on top of your hip bones Press your little toe down to the floor, hands in front of you. Ready and reach, reach, reach. Press it out and up. It's not an arch, it's a stretching up through the crown of your head. Reach, reach, four, five, six, seven. And pull it to the right, stretch it out, reach it up. Chest is lifted, out of the waist. Left hip is down, and now hold it and stretch it out and over. Feel the stretch up the left side of the body. Turn and face the leg. Spine is lengthening. Stretch your chest out toward your knee. Toe is pointed. Now round it down. Weight of the head carrying you over. A four count center. And walk it back. And pull it to the left. Stretch it out. Toes are pointed. Right hip is pressing into the floor. Is in and hold it and reach. Stretch it out. And turn and face the leg. Again, right hip is pressing to the floor, stomach is in, chest is reaching for the shins. And round it down, weight of the head carrying you over. Seven, eight, flex your feet and walk it center. Now pull it out with flexed feet, lengthen the spine. Flat back, reach it side to side. Don't overstrain it. Only come down as far as you can comfortably. Now walk it up. Arms overhead and right, left. Now you may not want to use both arms. You can only use one arm if you want. Look at the people in the third row. Right and left. Right. Stretch in the hamstrings. If you feel more comfortable holding on to your lower legs, that's all right. Try to keep your heels off the floor. Relax down. And now point your toes. And roll up. Bend your knees. And roll over onto your back and we'll go on to the abdominal exercises. Toes are slightly turned in. Knees are parallel. Hands on the chest. Curl your Toward your navel and lift two, three, and down. Exhale as you come up and down. It's a curling motion. Chin to chest. Last time, curl it up. Now knee lifts. Left knee, right knee. The chin is to the chest. You exhale as you come up. The pubic bone is curled up. Right knee. Exhale, exhale, 
chin to chest, left knee, right knee, left knee. This is the last set. Now cross it to the right with the elbow and left. Exhale and left. Keep that back rounded. Keep the pelvis tilted up. All right. Can you feel it? Okay. Exhale as you come. Set. Last set. Eight. Now we're going to start with both knees if you can. Both knees. Or you can do it the way Jeff is doing it. You don't have to use both knees. You should not let your back arch. Back is rounded to the chest. Pubic bone is curled up. And now lie back. Knees to chest. Right leg straight up. Left knee bent. Hands behind the head and lift. Two. Seven, eight, extend the left leg. Don't use your hands and arms to lift you. All the work is being done by the muscle between the navel and the pubic bone. Both legs are straight up. Five, six, seven, change sides. Bend the right knee. Reach it. Five, six, exhale, exhale. Straighten that leg out at an angle, not too low. Five, six, seven, straight up. your ankles crunchies. Elbows are pointing up towards the knees. Reach with your shoulders and your chest, not just your elbows. Knees should be over the hips. The pubic bone is curled up. Exhale as you lift again. One, two, three. Hang in there. Come on, you can do it. Keep breathing. Smile. Across. Left. Right. Left. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Think of what a Strong, hard stomach you'll have. Cross it over. Seven, eight, and now bend your knees. We're gonna go into the bicycle, starting to the right. And one, two, three, four, double time. You might wanna have your hands underneath your hips the way Audrey and Kellen are doing. Don't let your back arch. Now flex. Be sure that your pubic bone is curling up. As I said, it might help you to have your hands under your hips to be sure that your back is not arching up. Six, seven, eight, point again. Now don't just move your elbows, reach with your shoulders and your chest. Up to tempo and a one, two, keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven. Last time, flex. Get that upper body up. Really work. To tempo, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knees to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Feet are on the floor. Knees are parallel. Toes turned in. Hands behind the head. Chin is down. And one, two, and down. Two. Exhale. Up. is curled up. Don't let your back arch. Five, six, seven, eight. It's almost over. Now double time. Two, three, four, five, six. Relax your neck and head. One, two. All your hands and arms are doing are supporting your head and allowing your neck to relax. Elbows back and single This muscle right in here that's doing all the work. Eight, double time. One, two, three, four. Concentrate. Very intense. It's almost over. I promise. And lift. You've heard that before. Three, four, five, six, seven. And hold it there. And go back. Straighten out your left leg. Press your right knee over to the left side. Right arm straight up, shoulder height. Press that right shoulder down to the floor. Roll back onto your back and go to the other side. Press your left knee down to the right side. Left arm straight out. 
Press your left shoulder down to the floor. Decompress your spine. And roll over onto your backs and up onto your left sides. And we'll go on with the leg exercises. Point your toes, extend your legs in a straight line with your upper body. Hand in front and lift, lift, and stretch that leg out. Lengthen it as you lift it. Reach, six, seven, eight again. And don't go like this. Don't just sort of sit back and go through the motions. Press your hips forward. Pull up tall in the torso. Big distance between the shoulder and the ear. Stretch it up. Up, one more set, and a one. Looking good, Brigetta. Woo, three. Working the outer thigh now. Reach it up, up, and stretch. And stretch, and now lift it up, flex the foot. Point it and reach it higher, and bend that bottom leg. Woo, flex the foot, ready, and press. Press, 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 press. Now again, that Top hip is forward. Don't sit back. This is not the right exercise. It's forward. Pull up tall. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Again, one, two. Press. Feel like there's a rubber ball under that foot and you're pressing it down. Press, press. Feel the resistance. Resistance. Four, five, six, seven. Hold it there. Straight out. Bend. Reach. Reach. And you may want to put your arm around your leg to support your leg like Leslie Mulgrave is doing. Stretch. Stretch. Don't snap. It's a stretch. Now double time. Reach. 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 Woo! Don't snap. It's a little bend and a big stretch. Woo! Stretch. Woo! And hold it there. Point your toe. Reach it out. Oh. Plug it into your chest. Drop it over. Now come up on that back toe. Extend that front leg at a right angle from your body. Flex your foot. Ready? And one, two, three, and down. Reach it up. Two, three, and down. Put your fingers on that little muscle in the inner thigh. Feel it working. Up, two, three, and down. Double time. Two. If you want more resistance, do what Richard's doing. Press against that leg as it comes out. And push. Oh, yes. Good, Richard. Five. What thighs? Seven. And up and down. Two. Now, don't go like this. Don't use your whole body to create motion to get that leg up. Isolate it. Your back is rounded. Your stomach is pulled in. Another seven. Two, three, four, five, six, 
two back, seven, eight, and hold it there, point your toe, extend that leg, and drop the knee, four inches apart, sit back on your heel, walk your hands way out in front of you. Look back towards your knees, stretch the fingers out in one direction and your hips in the other. And sit up, take the leg that you've been working and cross it in front, and round down over the opposite knee, Whoa, feel that stretch in the work in here. Oh, yes. And now to the center and inhale. And as you exhale, let the weight of your head carry you way down over your legs. Feel the stretch in both hips. Oh, I feel that. And pull in your stomach and roll up. You all right? Everybody all right? All right, right. right sides. Point your toes. Extend your legs. Ready and lift. Thank you. 
Stretch that leg straight up, gently towards your head. And flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Both knees to the chest now. Press them in, hands behind the knees. Put your feet on the floor. Without lifting your head now, lengthen your neck and press your chin to your chest. Now lift your nose to your sternum, hands on the thighs, curl it up, pull in your stomach, and bring your right leg across, hands on the floor, feet are apart and parallel, hang down between your legs, relax your necks and head, and pulling in your stomach, up to the center of your body. up and stretch the left hand down. And bring it up. And you're all through. Yeah.